Hey everyone, it's uh, Pastor Heath here, and it is a beautiful day outside today. The long weekend is coming, and I don't know what that means anymore right now, uh, but hopefully you're able to get outside for a little while and maybe do some yard work. Uh, some of you have told me that you're going to be doing some camping, so hopefully enjoy yourselves and stay safe out there. And uh, we got fire warnings and all that kind of stuff, so uh, hopefully everybody has a good weekend. Um, last week we kind of wrapped up our little series on worry, and so today I just wanted to express... Uh, some thoughts, some feelings. Uh, I don't really have a uh, devotional per se in mind, but uh, here is what I want to communicate. Um, it's just simply, I miss you guys. I was thinking about it this week. I, I miss hearing you sing. I miss uh, the opportunity for us to celebrate as a church, and I miss the sound of uh, all of our voices singing together, and we're not the loudest bunch of singers here at the church, but that doesn't mean we don't miss it. And uh, being together, I miss uh, the live music. I miss uh, us together playing as, as teams in a band and the organizing of services and uh, even those of you that are involved on the worship teams and making Sundays happen. I miss having you guys here as well and listening to you practice and warming up early on Sunday mornings. And uh, I also miss uh, teaching live. Uh, we're currently sitting around watching most of our church on screens. and uh, But honestly, it's not the same for me. I miss being surrounded by other believers and seekers, and I, and I miss hearing the word and, and all of us coming together. I miss seeing your faces, and I miss seeing your reactions as I preach. I miss the looks of confusion, which there's sometimes there's plenty. Uh, I also uh, miss seeing the tears sometimes that well up in the eyes of people as the word of God is speaking to their hearts. I miss the smiles. I miss the laughter at usually my very poor jokes, as I'm not very funny, but I try to get some humor in there. Uh, I miss the immediate responses of... Uh, people about my message or people's immediate response to worship. Uh, and what I mean by that is I, I really miss the feeling of God's Holy Spirit moving within our midst uh, as we come together as the church. Um, I miss the presence of God's people. Uh, I miss being around the whole entire body, as the Bible says, where two or three are gathered, Jesus is with us. Uh, I miss that feeling. I miss the handshakes. Uh, I miss the pats on the back. Even though I'm not a huge hugger, I, I, I miss the hugs, but m maybe after this I'll become a hugger, so you might have to watch yourself. Um, I miss the weekly rhythm, uh, Sunday school and, and men's groups and, and breakfasts and ladies' groups and youth events, uh, potlucks. We're all doing tons of eating. It's just not with lots of other people. Uh, I miss eating, sitting around eating with all of you and uh, sitting around tables, meeting uh, you, your family. I miss meeting new people over a meal or just reacquainting with those we haven't talked to in a while. Um, I do a lot of listening lately and lots of reading, and there seems to be uh, a growing trend amongst uh, leaders and pastors that, you know, churches are starting to say, you know, well, maybe this is the future. You know, online church is the future. This is the new normal. And I would say, uh, no, it's not. Uh, None of these things that I miss, that I know you also miss, cannot be replaced by sitting at home and consuming a sermon. Um, I miss all of you, and I hopefully we can gather together soon, and hopefully uh, you're missing it as well. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, what do you miss about church? I mean, there's always things that maybe we're okay not having right now, and that's okay, but what do you miss about the church? Drop me a line, let me know. I would love to... Uh, here are a few things that are maybe longing in your heart, maybe some things that I haven't even thought about, or maybe from your perspective, what it is you miss about the church. Um, yeah, and so I just want to encourage you with that. You know, what, what do you miss about the church? Um, lots of things happening at the church as well. We're starting to hear from the government about some things, but nothing official yet. I do not have a timeline. I have no idea when it's going to change. Lots of spe theories and speculation, as you know. Restaurants will open a bit this week. Hair salons for those of us who need a haircut. And I know it seems ridiculous because I don't have much, but I still need one. Um, but we're also having some change over here in the church family. As I let you know a couple of weeks ago, uh, Daniel and Karen Dulliard moved away and they're off to BC. But I need to announce another family. Uh, Pastor Joe and his wife Kathy uh, have sold their home out in Smith. Uh, if you know them well and close to them, you know they've been trying to sell for a little while. And so they sold their house a couple of weeks ago. They've already bought a new one in Fairview, and so I talked to Joe multiple times. He was actually here this morning, so we had a chance to visit for a bit. And so I would like to thank Joe and Kathy uh, for their service here at the church and, and Joe doing a whole pile of preaching for us for the year before I came. And so I thank you, Joe, for, for doing all of that. I really appreciate it. And as well for you, Joe, to 
take over preaching when I was on holidays. It's nice to have a preacher in our midst that I can kind of just drop it on once in a while. And so um, I know many of you are blessed by their time and their ministry, so I want to encourage you to drop them a line as well. Um, they're going to be gone at the end of the month. It's all very quick and very fast, but God has been leading and they are excited uh, as their children live in Fairview and get close to where their family is and grandkids. And so uh, we're really happy for them. And so that's kind of our uh, quick little thoughts and update. Love you guys. We'll talk on Sunday, James chapter 3, verses 13 and 18. And I will also be giving us a financial update on Sunday morning as well. Uh, love you all. Take care. Uh, we'll talk to you on Sunday.